Hey everyone, this is Major Batman in Linkira Studios, here to show you three ways to open a door in Unity. So on the left we have the animation door, done completely through animation, no code. The middle is a physics door using a hinge joint, also no code. And the third door is a coded door using a on collision trigger that we'll code up. So let's get started. These doors are from the Polygon Fantasy Kingdoms pack and include the outer wall as well as the inner door and this is kind of critical when you want to deal with uh, d doors in general. You can make this yourself using some simple boxes uh, if you so desire. But I'm going to use these as they look a little nicer. Okay so first you grab your door, you click on the door and you can see how it's a separate outline and what we're going to do is we're going to add an animator component and it doesn't have anything at the moment but if we open up the animation window which can also be found by windows animation clicking the animation we're going to create a animation then what we'll do is we're going to add a property the transform we're going to do the rotation and click the plus sign we see it has an X, Y, Z, and also has two keyframes. So the way this works is it's going to tween between this one and this one. And at the moment, nothing's set. We want the door to rotate on the Y, which is the green axis. And we want it to first open backwards, which is going to be minus 90 degrees. So we're going to click on that and click minus 90. See how it opens back there? And then we're going to go to the two second mark and we'll add another key. We'll click on, we'll turn this to zero, and then we're going to go to the three second mark and add a key and set that to 90. And finally, we're going to add one more to return it back to its original state so that there's a perfect loop. And if we press play, it's going to loop back and forth. So it opens back, go, goes to the center, opens the other way, and repeats. And that's all you have to do for an animated door. Okay, next up is our physics door. So what we're going to do is we're going to first remove the mesh collider and replace it with a box collider. They're a bit more efficient, it's easier to manage, and we can make sure that it works for what we want. We want to bring down the size just a little bit so it doesn't interact with anything else. The, the floor, maybe the wall, or something of that nature. Then we're going to add a component. We're going to add the hinge joint component, and this automatically adds a rigid body. On the rigid body, we're going to deselect use gravity so it doesn't fall through the ground. We're going to turn the collision detection to continuous speculative. And then on the hinge joint, we need to edit the angular limits. And we can see that at the moment, it's completely 360, which is not what we want and we want it down a little bit more. So we want it to act to rotate on the Y instead of the X. So we're gonna set the axis here to zero and this one to one. And now we can see that the direction is the way we would want the door. Next, we're gonna add a little spring. This is kind of a default way to get the door to go back to its original position. And we'll just put like a five here with a, a maybe a one or a two here. And then finally for the limits, we're gonna do minus 90 to 90. And so that's kind of the general difference or general uh, scope of how far the door is gonna open and close. And so if we do all that and press play, the door opens and returns back to normal before as the ball leaves it. And that's all you have to do to make a door work like that. And so you could imagine having, uh, pushing it open with a box or maybe with your hands uh, or something of that nature where you could just push open a door with your body um, as you come through it, which would be kind of interesting. All right, the final method is a coded version. So what we're going to do here is on this third door, we're going to add a script. We're gonna make a destroy door. I have to make a destroy door too since I've done this a few times. And we're gonna open it up. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is we want to explode when it when it gets hit. So we're gonna add a public game object. And name it explosion. Next we're gonna type in on trigger enter and we're just gonna press tab. And that auto populates 
a on trigger enter with a collider and it's just something that unity deals with and so when the door with their with the collider gets hit by something that triggers it it's going to run this function on it so what do we want it to do well we want it to destroy um, the game object that is tied to the door right so this this is the destroy door 2 and the game object is the actual door and we want it to just destroy it and then we, what we wanted to do is we want to just check to make sure that you, we copied over an explosion because we don't we don't want that error so we're going to just do an if ex, if explosion not equal to null and then what we'll uh, what we'll add to this is we're going to instantiate the explosion and we're going to instantiate it at the transform.position and transform.rotation and we're going to save that. We're going to copy it over. We'll find an explosion particle, which I have one from polygonal particles, and just drag it over in there. And then finally, for the trigger collider, we want to make sure that the collider on the sphere is set to is trigger, as that will trigger it. And if we do that, it should work. And it exploded just as we wanted it to. So that, my friends, is three easy ways to make a door open, two ways without code, and one with only a few lines. I hope you liked. If you did, uh, give it a like and a subscribe, and I really appreciate it. Have a great day.